mean? We're about to have a lot of fun together. Are you ready? Yeah, I'm dancing as fast as I can. Will you introduce me? You got it. Partner. Come on, ladies and gentlemen. Please welcome my good friend, Malcolm. Hey, okay. Thank you, thank you. Oh, look at that crowd. Thank you so much. Welcome to my show. And now I'd like to introduce my good buddy and the man with all the questions, Mr. Alex Trebek. Come on out here, Alex. Whoa. Thank you, Malcolm. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Happy to welcome all of you to our show. Yes, yeah, indeed. I'm going right. to call it our show, even though I realize full well you know that it. that's not my name you see up there. But rather the name of my new partner, the little guy in the box, Malcolm. How are yeah, you today? Yeah, I'm just great. I see you noticed all those letters up there, 20-foot-high letters. Yeah, Malcolm. they're kind of hard to miss, Malcolm. Uh, I wish they said something different, however. Wait, wait. No, no, no. No way. First of all, they say Malcolm because my uncle designed a set. And second uh -huh. of all, who ever heard of a game show named Alex? I think he's got a <laughs> We'll talk about that a little later on. But right now, I'm going to give you a tour of the studio. Look out front. Whoa. See all the people who have come to watch you and Yo. me make our television debut as a team? All right. Now, look over here to this side we've got three contestants who are anxiously awaiting our treatment of them okay oh. which leads me to my first question yeah. of the day malcolm what have you ever done a television game show before frankly i haven't alex but i'll oh, tell you something boy. i've always wanted to oh well that's good deep down in the guts of my heart i've always wanted to do one of these things, yeah, I'll tell you. well because of the prizes i love giving away prizes we've got Prizes, you wouldn't what? cash. We're giving away cars, trips, rivers, continents. Whoa, 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 hold on, hold on. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Don't get carried away now. I hate to do this to the fellow, but I don't want him to make promises we can't keep. No. But we can do this. We can promise up to twenty-five thousand dollars in cash and merchandise at whoa. one time. Since you're going to have to work with the contestants, helping them to win those prizes, I'm going to let you have the honors, and you get to introduce these three individuals. I'll be happy to. Okay, over there on the far side, we have Kathy. Hi, Kathy. Hi, Malcolm. You know, Malcolm, I heard you were so handsome, and everybody's right. You oh, gosh, Kathy, you're really trying to, to butter me up on the love front, aren't you? Yeah. That's, where are you from, <laughs> Kathy? I'm from Anaheim. Uh, oh, yeah, I, I know that area very well. Well, welcome to the show. Thank, thank you. Thank you for coming you. by. We're going to help you win some money and some oh, cash if we can. So. Okay. <laughs> Sitting over there in the middle, we have Ray. Hi, Ray. Hi, Malcolm. Hi. How are you doing? I'm fine, thanks. Uh, what do you do for a living, Ray? I'm a controller for a block plant, and uh, what kind of a, what kind of a plant? A concrete block plant. Oh, concrete block plant. Well, you do just the light end of the work, though, right? Oh yes, just yeah. the pencils, I suppose. I see. Well, glad to have you here. Hope you do well in the show today. And sitting on the end there, we have Susie. Hi, Susie. Hi, Malcolm. Hi. You glad to be on the show, Susie? Oh, I'm delighted to be here. Hi. What do you do for a living? I'm an English teacher in junior high. Uh oh. I'm going to be in trouble. If she sees any of my participles dangling, she's going to mention it, I'm sure. Okay, those are the contestants. Let's hear it for Kathy, Ray, and Susie. Now that you handled that very well. Thank right you. now, let's get to the action. I'm going to take you and our three contestants and put them into the game position. There you go. Whoa. All okay. right, players. Each question I ask has two words in the answer. The first two players to signal will switch themselves automatically into that playing area you see down below. And there you get to work as partners for just a moment or two. Let me give you an example. Kathy, if you and Susie were the first to signal, you'd wind up down below in this configuration. Mm -hmm. Kathy, you'd give me the first word. Susie, you'd give me the second word. But in order to score points, you would both have to be correct. And you couldn't help each other. If you made a mistake, it's back up top. And that gives Ray a big opportunity because he gets to come down below with Malcolm as his partner. And Malcolm is always right when he gives an answer. That's right. Back up top for you two. Ten points are awarded each time we get a correct answer from the contestants, and it takes 50 points to win the game, become Malcolm champion, and go on to play a big bonus round for up to $25,000 in cash and prizes with the help of Malcolm himself. Are you ready, players? Ready. Hands in position, and here we go. Good luck. How did Joan Crawford sign letters to her daughter, Christina? All right, Ray, you were first to signal. Give me the first word of the answer. Mommy. Susie, you're next. Dearest. You both earned hey. ten points. Nice That's the correct answer. Two people splitting the cost of a date are paying how? Ray, first word. This time you're teamed with Kathy. Dutch. Kathy? Tree. Nice going. That's the right answer also. That's three to this. Ray in the lead with 20. The ladies with 10 apiece. When an Englishman asks you to give him a tinkle, he's really expecting a what? All right, Kathy was first and she works with Ray. Give me the first part of the answer, Kath. Telephone. Ray. Call. Telephone oh. call is the right answer. You got it. 
means Ray. You have reached 30 points. You're in the lead. You're getting close to that magical number of 50 that it's going to take to become our first Malcolm champion. And remember, we have Malcolm's rule applying, and that is whoever helps the champion get the final 10 points stays on the show and plays in the very next game. Next question for you. The avocado often goes by another name, that of an ugly animal and a fruit. What is it? Susie's in first, and she is joined by Kathy. That's it. Susie, give me the first word. Alligator. Kathy. Second word? <laughs> guacamole. Alligator guacamole. Hey. Wait a minute. Wait just a minute. It's alligator pear. No points for either one of our ladies right now, and that means you go back up top. And Malcolm, you get to come down. Yeah. And in I this situation, right. Malcolm's on the left side, which means he's going to give the first part of the answer. But regardless of the side he comes down on, he always speaks first and he's always right. Ray, press your button and okay. we'll move you down into the playing area. Here Listen are, to this question. In 30 years, not one person dared kiss England's queen mother on the lips until this man did. Malcolm? Richard Dawson! <laughs> no, that didn't be right. Malcolm, good. come on now. Okay, the first word is Jimmy. Ray, what's the second word? Connors. Jimmy Connors. Oh, he was the second person. Yeah, and he the, didn't kiss her on the lips. The first man to do it was Jimmy Carter. Oh. Jimmy Carter. No points for you. The score remains the same. You go back up top. If when you awaken, it folds back up into the wall, you've been sleeping in what? Ray, first word. Trundle. Kathy? Second word? Bed. A trundle bed. No, I think Murphy bed would be a, a lot better right, right there. And that means no points for you. And Malcolm, come down again. Okay. You get to work with Susie this time. Press your button. Here you come. Question for you two. Queen Victoria's husband had a coat named after him. What was his name? Malcolm. Trench? No, 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 no. No, that's a kind no, of a mouth. Not trench coat. That's a mouth disease, right, yeah. No. Queen uh, Victoria's <laughs> husband had a coat named after him. First word of the answer. Prince. Susie, second word. Albert. You yes, got it. Prince right. Albert is the right answer. Wonderful. Good run, Susie. 20 points for you to tie you with Kathy, but Ray is still in the lead with 30. We've got a lot of questions about England. Elizabeth I got this erroneous nickname because she was never married. Susie is first, and then Ray. Susie? Virgin. Ray? Queen. Virgin Queen is okay. the right answer. 40 points for Ray. Remember Malcolm's rule. If you can't be champion yourself, by all means, help somebody else become the winner. Along with his partner, Bob Woodward, who broke the Watergate story. And Ray is first. He works with Kathy. Ray, first word. Carl. Kathy? Oh, Albert. <laughs> oh, Albert, no. Carl Bernstein. No points for you, Ray. You could have been champion on that question, and Kathy's sitting right next to you. Do you want to say anything to her right now? Um, I'll, uh, You'll take a pass. Discreet. Okay, let's bring Malcolm down. Susie, press your button. And you'll join him. Okay, This Susie. time, even though Malcolm's on the right side, he will speak first, and his answer will be correct. Listen. What candy bar was named for Grover Cleveland's daughter? Second word, Malcolm. Chunky. No, that's not. No, 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 no. Give me the second word. Ruth. First word, Susie. Baby. You got it. Baby Ruth. Great choice. Ten points. And that means that Susie and Ray are now tied for the lead with 40 points apiece. Here's your next question, players. Qantas is the official name of the what? Kathy's first and Susie's right after her. Kathy, give me the first word of the answer. Australian. Susie, for the game? Airline. Australian Airline is right. Okay, you got Susie. Malcolm Champion. Terrific. And that means you're going to go on to play in Malcolm's special bonus round, and he's going to be helping you to win a carload of cash and prizes. And because Kathy is the one that was your partner when you went over the top, Kathy, you get to return on our next show and play in another game. And Raymond, uh. you were doing well. You were tied for the lead. You had 40 points, but it didn't work out. I'm sorry. So, Malcolm... That's this is a the sad, spot in the yeah. show. Yeah, that's this... a sad part of the game. It really tears my heart out, Ray, but 
Too bad, fella. So no. You don't look too disappointed <laughs> no, to see the guy go and the two girls stay. No, I am, because Ray played a heck of a good game over here. Well, what have here. you got for him in the way of well, a Well, we, we have a consolation prize for you, Ray. We're going to give you a color TV set and a copy of the Malcolm Home game as soon as we work one up. <laughs> All right, nicely done, Ray. And you too, Malcolm. Okay. What that means, folks, is that we've got a big round coming up for $25,000 as soon as we take a break for what? A word from our sponsor. You got it, partner. We'll be right back. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back. And this is our very first Malcolm champion, Susie Hogan, who is an English teacher at a junior high school. Am I correct? Right. And you made your knowledge pay off in that first part of our game, becoming the champ. And now you get to work with Malcolm. Are you excited about that? I'm very excited. He's a big help for a little guy. Yeah, I certainly am. I'm excited about being, uh, being, uh, uh, working with you. Uh, but you're not uh, nervous, are you, Malcolm? No. Hey, why should I be nervous? I know the answers, huh? And all the questions are going to start off on this board over here, Susie. We've got eight categories waiting for you. Television, people in history, great painters, movies, music, famous firsts, sports, and glamour girls. You pick a category. The first correct answer you give me reveals the prize in that category. The next correct answer you give me in the category, you get to keep the prize. You're going to have 90 seconds to win as many prizes as possible. And we've got some goodies up there. Malcolm, you start. Oh, we've got some great stuff up there for you. We've got a sailboat. We've got an official pair of my Malcolm cufflings, huh? And a trip to Hong Kong and mainland China. Oh. Fabulous oriental holiday right. for you. Malcolm, have you ever been to Hong Kong? What do you mean? I was made in Hong Kong. All right, none of that. We talked about cufflinks and other prizes. The real big item that we have up there, Susie, is $10,000 in cash. But we've got a twist for you right here. You can't win the $10,000 until you have first captured one other prize. Do you understand? Okay. And if you should win the $10,000, we'll stop the round right there. Malcolm's going to be your partner. Do you right. want him to give the first word or the second word in each answer? Malcolm, you go first. Okay. All right, I'm going to put the two of you into your positions right now. We'll put 90 seconds up on the clock. The clock will not start ticking, however, until I begin reading the question in the first category you select. Susie, good luck. Pick a category. Music. Music it is. On which country singer's life is coal miner's daughter based? Malcolm. Loretta. Second word. Lynn. That's right. What prize do we have for you there? A trip to New York. Where do we go? I want to go back to music and win that trip. What American-born soprano gained fame due to her fiery temperament and a love affair she had with Aristotle Onassis? Malcolm. Maria. Callus. That's right. right. Okay. You've got the trip to the Orient. Now where do we go? Television. Who portrayed Samantha Stevens on the television show Bewitched? Malcolm. Elizabeth. Second word. Montgomery. You got it right again. And the prize we have up there is a Malcolm poster. Where to? Glamour Girls. Glamour Girls. What well-known actress served at a sentence of 17 days in jail for tax evasion? Malcolm? Sophia... Loren. Loren. Sophia Loren is right. The prize we have there is a sailboat. About 45 seconds. Where do we go? Sports. What American black athlete literally ran away with the 1936 Olympics gold medals? Malcolm? Jesse. Second word. Owen. That right. is right. And in the sports category, we've got $250. Uh, you? Let me try movies. Movies. What disaster film took place upon an upside-down passenger ship? Malcolm? Poseidon. Adventure. That is right. Has, oh, we've got the $10,000 and you've got less, around 20 seconds to go. Um, I'm going to go back to movies and win that money. Humphrey Bogart, as private eye Sam Spade, referred to it as the stuff that dreams are made of. To what was he referring? Malcolm, first Mal word. Maltese. Second word. Falcon? Falcon, yes. that's it. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Ten seconds to go, but I tell you, I think you made the right decision in trying to win the ten thousand. Because who knows what might have happened if you had missed. But as a result of your good work, you wind up with a trip to the Orient, and that is worth three thousand nine hundred and eighty dollars. And you've got ten thousand dollars in cash. Nice going to you and to Malcolm for a total of thirteen thousand nine hundred and eighty. Let's hear it for the champion. All right. And as champ. Our rules are the same as any other show. You get to come back, play in another match, and who knows, in a little while, you might be standing here again trying to go for another $25,000. But right now, we got to take a breath and a break, and then we'll start a new match by introducing a new player to all of you, right after this. Take a deep breath.
Welcome back, folks. Boy, I'm still exhausted from that bonus round, Malcolm. You see how exciting it can be it was. when a player wins the big prize, the $10,000? I'm still out of breath. It was incredible. I loved it. I loved Susie everything. deserves our congratulations, no doubt about that. But I think you deserve some congratulations as well. Ah, oh, thanks. You are terrific, and the audience likes you a lot. Don't you, folks? Hey, thank you. And since you and I are on a roll right now, why yeah. don't we continue? And you get to introduce the newcomer to the Malcolm Right, show. let's move right into it. Sitting over there, our new contestant is Kevin. Hi, Kevin. Hi, Malcolm. How you doing? Where are you from, Kevin? Hermosa Beach. Hermosa Beach. Oh, you're one of those guys with the surfboards and the rubber suits and everything. I know, right? Yeah, you got yeah, it. Yeah, okay, Kevin. Good luck to you. Hope you do real well in the game. So let's get on. Let's welcome Kevin to the game, everybody. All right. Give him a little encouragement and let's roll. All right, Malcolm, hang on to your socks because you and the contestants are going into the game position once again. There you are. Whoa. That good luck, good. players. First question. Who was Tom Sawyer's childhood sweetheart? Kevin was first, followed by our English teacher, Susie. All right, Kevin, the first word of the answer? Becky. Susie. Thatcher. Becky Thatcher is okay. right. Ten points for each one of you. And that means you go up top. Ten points for each. Kathy has yet to score. A spy who works both sides of the fence is better known as a what? All right, this time it's going to be Kathy and Kevin. First word, Kathy? Double. Kevin? Agent. Double agent. Hey, you got it. Beautiful. Okay. Everyone is working well in part. Everyone. Nice going. Game. As a result, Kevin's in the lead with 20 points. From the funny little rhyme, name the bear who had no hair. All right, here we go with the ladies. First, it's Susie. Fuzzy. Kathy? Wuzzy. Fuzzy, right. wuzzy. <laughs> Wasn't he? 20 points for each one of our players as we continue. They're kept in the freezer before every professional game to make them harder and go faster. Kathy, you were first, and then Susie. What's the first half of the answer? Hockey. In order to score, you pucks. must both be correct. And Susie says oh. puck, since that's right. Hockey puck. Right. Right and with each of you ladies having 30 points, I want you to remember Malcolm's rule. Whoever helps the winner get the final 10 points stays on the show and plays in our next game. And here's the next question. The Japanese dish, sushi, is made from what? This time it's Kathy and Kevin. Kathy, first word. Raw. Kevin. Fish. Raw All fish. Right. That's right. <laughs> Kathy is now 10 points away from becoming our new champion, replacing Susie. You have three aces and two jacks in a game of poker. What type of hand do you hold? Kevin is in there. He's the gambler. And Kathy also. Kevin, first half of the answer. Full. Kathy? House. You're right. Full house. Hey, we have a winner. Okay. The new Malcolm champion. You're going to get to play for the $25,000 in cash and prizes in a few moments. And Kevin, because you helped her become champion, you stay with us and you'll play in the next game. And Susie, we've got to say goodbye to you. Oh, yeah. And normally we'd give you a consolation prize, but I don't think you need one. You wound up with a trip to the Orient worth 3980 and our big jackpot. So you're going away with 13980 Congratulations, okay. Susie Hogan. Thank you very much. Oh, She's also going away with a big kiss from Malcolm. You want to score one? <laughs> you're welcome. Will you catch all kisses, Susie? I tell you what, we're just about out of time. We're not going to have enough time to play the bonus round, I don't think. So we might as well wrap things up right here. When we come back, you know what happens. Right. Kathy plays the bonus round. Mm -hmm. Then we start a new match with Kathy, mm -hmm. Kevin, and a new player. Oh. And I want to tell you, before we leave, I think you've done a great job today. Ah, oh, thanks a lot, Alex. You are not so bad yourself. I mean, what are pals for but to help each other out? Absolutely. But i got to be honest with you. Huh. I was worried because I thought you'd be coming up a little short on the program. Hey. Today. Watch it with the short jokes. Uh, I'm sorry. I'll I tell can you do what. 20 minutes on your mustache if you give me a minute. Yep, I bet you can. I'll tell you what. To make it up to you, why don't you and I go to lunch? And hey. I'll pick up the tab. How's that? Okay. Good what are you idea. Order? Well, I think we go across the street to the little taco stand. You're going to order child's portions? No. Oh, darn Have a it. couple of uh, enchiladas, a Let's taco say goodbye to the folks. Little salad. You get your hat oh. and coat, and yeah. we'll go to lunch. So okay. long, everybody. So long, everybody. See you next time around. Bye-bye. Now, what are you going to order? Bye-bye. We was working.
Oh, Jerry, the guy pushing the buttons up here. Uh, uh, art, big art. Okay. Who are... I don't get it. I don't remember all of these people. I don't remember these people. I was wondering where the donuts went. <laughs> this was it. Oh, Jan, she's the one who feeds me those answers. That's great. Oh, oh, I know these people. These names are familiar. Somebody write these down quick. Don't forget it. Oh, here's Jim. Great. Right. Place never looked this crowded. So these people just weren't on the NBC tour. <laughs> Project Engineer, what the heck is that? And why was Merrill's name at the beginning? He wasn't here the whole time. But no, oh, oh, oh. 